so we can represent voltage only voltage or oh current also we current can. also of course uh -huh. of course why not yeah, that's also right? a sine wave that's also a sine wave so okay. you can take a current so i equals let's say ia uh, let us say sin omega t plus phi so it will be very similar it will be very similar everything is the same right and uh, people draw phasor diagrams with both voltages and currents mm. because you also want to see whether the current is leading the voltage lagging the voltage everything will be seen from the phasor diagram uh -huh. it's amazing really very powerful tool then maybe we will take an example okay maybe a source driving a capacitive oh you are directly <laughs> shall we do the resistor first oh. <coughs> because resistor may be a little bit easier no sure <coughs> so let us do a resistor first then we'll do the capacitor yeah so what i'm going to do i'm going to take a sinusoidal uh resistor uh this is a resistor yeah i'm going to take a sinusoidal voltage so this is v angle 0 so i'll call this vs hmm. um i'll call this yeah v angle 0 why not okay this is v sin omega t okay so i'll shall we call this uh, va that's what we have been doing yeah V A sin omega t. I want to plot the current. Mm -hmm. So to find out the current, all I have to do is write Ohm's law, right? So I is V S by R, mm -hmm. right? So this is V A sin omega t by R. Okay. So I am just going to write it as V V A by R times. sin omega t so there is no phase change there is no phase shift okay. right mm -hmm. so clearly i'll just call this ia sin omega t mm -hmm. so in fact the phasor representation for this is very straight forward so if i imagine that this was va okay angle so va angle 0 that's the reference that's the reference that is the input as well my current will just be maybe something like this oh it will be, be in phase, in phase. so this will be ia angle 0 so in fact this is ia angle 0 by definition right and ia is vs by r ia is vs by r or va by r <laughs> va by r correct so ia is magnitude of va by r so in fact if i were to go back to the original idea the phasor is rotating at an angular uh, velocity of omega the current phasor is also rotating angular velocity of omega at the same rate and in phase exactly in phase with the voltage only the magnitude <coughs> are different only the magnitude is different and in fact now i can go to the next level mm -hmm. so you imagine that instead of va angle 0 i had excited it with some va angle theta hmm right then current will also current will also be ia angle theta. theta then then all that would have happened is this would have become ia angle theta so both phases would have been something like this right so i would have had va at some angle theta and i would also have ia at the same angle that doesn't matter so the reference we just assumed it's va sin omega t so it's a, it's a zero uh, va angle zero basically okay. there is no phase difference between that is the most important voltage thing. and current in this correct. case okay. correct okay. now we can go to the more complicated version mm -hmm. which you asked for which is the capacitor capacitor okay so let us see what happens if you have a capacitor so i'm going to take the same voltage and send it through a capacitor so this is my input voltage vs so we said it is va sin omega t so we represented it as va angle 0 yeah in in polar form first we will do in time because that's what we were you are right. doing yeah. you are right <clears throat> we have to do it in time yeah. so let us say this current is the IC. capacitor current ic mm. so we know that <coughs> for the capacitor so this voltage is c dvc by dt yeah and uh, this vc is nothing but vs correct va sin omega t so it is c d by dt of va sin omega t so c times va d by dt of sin omega t is mm. omega cos, cos omega t so omega c times va times cos omega t yeah 
so we started with sign <coughs> now we have cos now we have a cos so it looks like the capacitance is introducing a phase shift mm -hmm. okay of of exactly 90, 90 degrees degree. that's true so if let's draw that in a phasor form you have you have noticed something very interesting so this was the input voltage yeah but the current seems to be leading by 90 degrees okay so this is your voltage so, hmm. vc right but the current seems to be so this is ic and it's 90 and it's 90 degrees okay yes mm -hmm. very interesting and in fact it's leading by 90 degrees and its magnitude is also changed it's a function of omega as well uh -huh, uh -huh. okay so all kinds of interesting things completely different from the resistor correct correct right okay so let us try to simplify this um so for the resistor we wrote it as ia angle 0 yeah let's try to write something similar right in phasor in polar form so this is cos omega t now it's a uh, we i remember exactly I so we'll call this as omega c this whole thing would be va angle 90 degrees yeah. right yeah <coughs> can we bring in the j operator j operator we can actually we saw that the um yes the j operator is one angle 90 degrees yeah right yeah. so now we should be able to easily do that <coughs> because then we'll write it like this va angle 0 degrees times one angle 90 degrees yeah. we'll write it like this Correct. right and so it is uh, j omega j omega c times v vs we'll call it because it is va yeah. angle 0 or vs yeah. Yeah. right or Yeah. Hmm? If, suppose if we don't write angle zero, <laughs> ah. it means angle zero. It means angle zero. Yeah. Correct. So you don't need to write it like correct. This. Correct. Perfect. Right. Okay. Uh, so when we had, I mean, a resistor, it was V S by R or V A by R. Correct. V A by R. Now it is something. It is something. Can else. you bring it into that form, which is more comfortable? <laughs> oh, I see. So you want to look at something like a resistance? Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So. let us see let us see how to do that so the capacitor ic is j omega c times vs right yes. this is the input in fact i'll call this vc why not huh? this is the voltage across the capacitor that's also correct right mm -hmm. so we'll just call this vc right yeah that may be easy okay and you want to write it as v by r correct oh okay that is relatively easy i'll write it as v by r means okay 1 by, by j omega j omega c oh perfect so i understand why you want to do this so this is something like the resistance of the capacitor correct but clearly it's not a resistance it's not a resistance it is not in phase yeah right it's a function of frequency, frequency. so it cannot so be resistance something else so this is called reactance okay so the capacitance i assume is reacting uh -huh. to the voltage mm -hmm. but they don't want to in call it resistance in a different way compared in a to different way correct so this is the reactance of the capacitor reactance uh, x we'll call it x c, c yeah. x c okay right instead of r we call it x c so in a circuit if i well, have a <coughs> uh -huh. capacitor yes and if it is excited circuit is excited by the sinusoidal signal yes its reactance will be 1 by omega c 1 by omega c that's mm -hmm. right okay so in fact normally uh, this reactance you assume that it already carries a j outside it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. there is already it assumes because you, the minute you say reactance it is not a resistance there is going to be phase lag or mm -hmm. phase lead etc mm -hmm. so there is the assumption is that the reactance is xc mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we just need to keep keep track of that so uh, you don't say th uh, that the uh, just like ohm's law the resistance is r right so the reactance is x yeah. right yeah. you always remember that there is some uh, j uh, together with it mm -hmm. that's all mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we'll we'll keep that in mind i hope the students will keep that in yeah. mind yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay <coughs> so um so if i were to write the reactance so the way i would write it is um jxc 
is uh, 1 over j omega c correct this is what mm -hmm. we want to write yeah right because normally the reactance is a number it is not an image so we have to take the j into account yeah. so shall we write it like this minus j by omega c mm -hmm. okay which means this reactance that you wanted is ma has a magnitude 1 over omega c okay so this is the reactance of the capacitor and then you add a j in front of it always that is the assumption I think the students will understand when yes, we do yes, a little yes, bit yes. more complicated examples. Yes, this is correct, no? So basically, you, you have multiplied with j. I have multiplied with j. Mm. Okay, just to show that there is always some mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, angle associated yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah. Because for a resistance, there will be no angle ninety degrees or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's yeah. all. Now we will bring in the next component: resistor, capacitor. Third one is maybe inductor. Inductor. Sure. Let's bring in the inductor. Let's see what happens. So suppose I, I'll go back to my standard uh, circuit. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to apply some source, which is V A angle zero, which is V A sine omega yeah, t yeah. across an inductor now. So I'll say the voltage across the inductor is L, and let us say the current is I L. So the one thing we know in the time domain. So the inductance has uh, a voltage which is L d i L by d t. Yeah. Right. Okay. So now we need to see <coughs> what the value of uh, I L is. Okay. So I L has to be one by L uh, integral V L uh, d t. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. This is the this thing. Equation. Now, what I will do? V L is V A angle zero. So we will write it in the time domain. Yes. Uh, integral V A sine omega t d t. So when I integrate this, I will basically get one by omega. So I'll write it like this. V A is constant. I'll get. Is this correct? Correct. And I'll get a minus cos omega t. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Is this correct? Correct. Correct. Perfect. Now minus cos omega cos omega t was plus j. Yeah. Minus cos omega t has to be minus j. Correct. Correct. <coughs> so right? this is lagging. This is lagging. Exactly. Degree. Yes. So if my input is v, a, so this is minus j. So if my v a angle zero is like this, uh, my I inductor L, current I L. I L is actually lagging here by ninety okay. degrees. Okay. So okay. the capacitor current was leading by was leading. This is lagging. This is lagging by ninety degrees, and mm -hmm. this is minus j. Mm -hmm. So what we can do, we'll write it like this. So v a, so minus j v a by omega by omega l, right? So this current I l is basically minus j by omega l times v a angle zero, <coughs> and uh, of course minus j. I'll multiply numerator and denominator by j to make things easy. So I'll basically get V A angle zero by uh, j omega l. Yeah. V A by j omega. V A by j omega l. I don't need this angle zero, yeah. right? Yeah. We know that's understood. If you don't write anything, it's angle zero. And amazingly, this is already in that uh, resistance Ohm's law form uh, that you wanted. No. Yeah. You wanted current to be voltage by something. Correct. Correct. Right. So this is the reactance of. Yes, the inductor. This is the reactance of the inductor. Okay. Okay. So, um, let's see. So this we'll call it as X L. X L. Reactance of the inductor. Again, this is clearly uh, there is a lagging or leading. Yeah, and uh, it's a function of frequency, so it looks like a resistor, but it's a reactance. Perfect.